Greetings one, greetings all. Welcome to... Oh. Ah, that's better. Greetings one, greetings all. We're in the small village of Hedland and it's just outside of Denby. Ian, do you know how far outside of Denby we are today? Yes, it's about two miles outside of Denby, Peter. Yes, it's very well known for its church. And did you know, this is an interesting fact, that the tower of the church is built separate to the body of the church. And would this be St. Sadwin's church? It would indeed. And I'll give you the reason why. Yes. OK, thank you for allowing me to give you the reason why, and of course our viewers. And it's this. Um, the parish of Hentland was a very, very large parish in the olden days. And they built the tower, the church tower, the clock tower, the bell tower, on top of a rocky mound in order that the sound would spread over many, many miles. Well, two miles anyway, Peter. Two and a half miles to be exact. Shall we go and investigate? Yes, that's two miles. Well, Ian, here we are at the church tower. Uh, as you can see, it's on its own. Shall we go and investigate the main body of the church itself? That would be fantastic. And um, what is this, Peter? It's actually a very interesting plaque, a uh, plaque of names of those of serviceable age who served in the First World War, the Great War, from 1914 to 1917. Now, I haven't made a mistake. Uh, we know that the Great War ended in 1918, but this was actually written in 1917. How do we know that? Well, one name in particular, Jesse Hughes, is down as wounded. He was wounded in 1917, but he subsequently died in 1918. Uh, it's every person from the parish. It shows how huge the parish was, because there's over 250 names of people who served. And um, it just shows how important the, the village at that time was. Fantastic. Well, Ian, here we are in the green area. Can you tell us what this is, please? This is the football pitch for Hintland Football Club. It is indeed, and it was formed in 1929. Yes. It's a summer league football club. Yes. So there's no winter football. No. Nope. Hence no um, goalposts behind us. Well, they're taken down now to prevent vandalism by the local yobbery. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, I want to show you something very special. Uh, okay. Would you like to touch that? Uh, I'll read it. It says, Hintland Football Club, anniversary, the 74th anniversary. So it's been around quite a long time. Well, at least 74 years. Mm. Let's hope it lasts another 74. I'm sure it will. They're a very good team, indeed. Ian, we have here one of the oldest pubs in Wales, probably the oldest pub in Wales, 13th century. 13th? 13th, which is a long, long time ago, is it not? It's a, well, it is a long time ago. And it's famous also for its thatched roof, which we will have a look at. It's nice, isn't it? It's a very nice thatched roof. Indeed. And, of course, the ghost story of which it's most famous for. And it concerns a publican uh, who was a seafaring man. And he went away to sea. And he left behind him his wife to look after the pub. And she was a very beautiful lady. So beautiful, in fact, that she... Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. indeed. But of course what's most famous about the pub is the ghost story. We... <coughs> what is most famous Ian about the pub is the ghost story and it concerns a publican who is also a seafaring man and one day he decided to go back to sea and he left his beautiful wife in charge of the pub. So beautiful was she in fact that she took a lover. Anyway he returned unexpectedly found them in the act I think it's called and he slew her stone dead. Since that day, the pub has been haunted by this beautiful lady in white. Shall we do it again? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll carry on. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, well that's... Well, I'm in it. I'll be there if you stand in front of yours. Can you just have a look if I'm in it? I do want to be as much of the building as possible. Okay, it's all in. Okay. And it's recording. <coughs> Ian, one thing I do love about Pentland is the old, the old buildings that we've got here. We've got Church Street, we've got streets named after things like the church, the school, and we have the old-fashioned school behind us now, which is still going to this day. Yes. Um, we've talked earlier about the most famous people to come out of Pentland. Yes. There's one in particular. We'll do this bit again. Ian, do you know who the most famous man is to come out of Hentland? No, Peter, tell me, who is it? We have to go back to the 15th century. 15th century? 15th century, the most famous man, someone called Humphrey Fluid. Oh, right. You've heard of him? Yes. Good. Uh, tell us all about him. Well, he was called Humphrey and his surname was Cluid. He came from the Cluid clan, of the clan Cluid, from the shores of Cloth Cluid in Cluid. Traffic. Ian, you're quite right there. He was also a cartographer, which is how he made his name. He went overseas um, mapping various um, countries and areas of the world, and he was actually born a mile outside of Hensland, so possibly he doesn't count, in a place called Foxhall. Oh, Foxhall, yes, yeah. I know Foxhall very well. I would think that might be okay. I think that might be okay. Hey, my daughter went tank from school. Pretty good. What's your signature? Yeah, it's not yours, though, is it? It's your fucking film. And there we are, Ian. Four fantastic reasons to, vi to visit. We'll do it again. <laughs> That's a surprise. No traffic. Well, there we are, Ian, for fantastic reasons to visit the village of Hentland. We've got the school, we've got the football, we've got the church, and we've got the pub. Searching on 